Good morning, this is Pastor Joe. It's incredibly early. It's still dark outside on Saturday morning, so I hope your coffee's good. I've been asked this question, so I'm going to make a short video about it, and I want to draw a distinction. Everything I know about the Bible in much study makes a distinct difference between what we call the rapture and the second coming of Jesus. And to put it in elementary school terms, we are going, according to Thessalonians, we are going to meet Jesus in the air. First, the dead Christians are going to rise first. Rise up and meet him. And then we are going to rise up and meet him. At some point in the blink of an eye, we will be transformed into heavenly beings. Then, then, the second coming of Christ will happen after a tremendous amount of tribulation happens to those people who are left. Some people will be saved during that time. After the rapture, before the end of tribulation, those people will have to be martyred in other words, once Jesus comes and calls his to the air, it's over for the, Lord, forgive me for my sins. It's over. You call out to Jesus after he's already come and got all of us. You're going to have to show that faith. That faith is going to require you to probably die in order to achieve salvation. And there will be a very special honor for those people who are martyred for their faith in Christ. So, rapture, whether you don't have to call it that, but it's described in the Bible, and we will meet Jesus in the air. And then there is the second coming. The second coming is when Jesus comes back and he has his army behind him on white horses. Now, this makes sense. He comes and gets us and transforms us. We go to heaven with him, and we come back with him. You can argue with my theology all day long if you like. Uh, I don't know exactly when that will occur. I believe we're very close to it. I believe it's a matter of a few years. I can't say one, two, ten, but the biblical signs are rampant and raging all over the world. Best thing to do is do what Jesus said about the uh, in the parable of the ten virgins. Keep your oil in your lamp and don't run out. Stay faithful. God bless you.